if you want something elegant, all right, if you could go for something simple, right, you could have a AC adapter, plug it to the wall, and then just daisy chain your pedals. But using that method is not very good because you're going to have things like leakages, a noise that is going into your system, and all this cross interference and everything that you do not want to have in your sound. Sure, you can have good stuff like quality brands like Chooks. Yeah, they are a very good brand, right? They give you very, very, very solid stuff and everything. But what if you want a tier higher? That's where Strymon comes in. Strymon will give you that quality that you need, albeit at a cost. Like, cost. The one, the one this is the Strymon Ojai R30. Is it good? And is, is it like, is it even worth it? Is it even worth the cost? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Chester here. You guys are watching our channel right here at Chester and Music. So today we'll be taking a look at a power supply unit. No, not the power supply for your wall. No, this is the power supply for music pedals, for guitar pedals specifically. So this is the Strymon Ojai R30. So a bit of backstory. So Strymon, they used to sell the Zuma and the Ojai. So back then it used to be very straightforward. The Zuma if you want big scale, Ojai if you want small scale. And the original Ojai is, is really really very small. But users have been giving feedback, you know, they say, what if my pedal has different voltages? Because you can cross your current. If let's say your power supply has not enough current, the the the, the, the pedal might just you know not work properly. But you cannot cross voltages you cannot mix them so once you put a 9 volt power supply into a 12 volt pedal for example <laughs> boom you have a very nice brick that you can put on display at your home <laughs> yeah so this is where the oj r30 comes in it has the same number of outputs it has five outputs okay but instead of just offering them then a very standard flat so the original oj has five outputs all five of them is 9 volts and 500 milliamps. We'll talk about more about that later. The RJ, the OJ R30 has five inputs, 500 amps each, milliamps each, 500 amps, damn, 500 milliamps each, and two of them are actually adjustable to 9, 12, and 18 volts. So this actually guarantees compatibility with a lot of other pedals out there. Okay, so taking a look at the box here, we have the Ojai R30 and it actually surprised me how big this box is. L later, you understand why. Okay, a bit of quotes and everything. Moving on and it's a very simple thing and there's a quote there. Left brain artists, innovators, thinkers. Left brain, very important. Okay, moving on. Opening the, up the box, right? Okay, you will see that the actual unit is just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually quite compact. So the, the box is so big for what, you know? I mean, your brand is already as big as it is, right? Okay, so this is the actual unit itself. So, yep, pretty small and actually not very heavy. I was expecting it to be heavier, but more on that later. Okay, so we open up the box and you'll find a second box. This is, uh, what is this? Oh, more stuffs and instructions, specifications on what you can do and how much you can plug in using the R30. Two thousand years later. Okay, so what's in the box? It will be the actual power supply itself. Metal, by the way. Yeah. So just just a reassurance thing. All right, power supply cable. So this particular uh, second box. This particular second box actually contains the actual power supply. Okay, so a thing with the Strymon Ojai units, right, whether it's the original one or it's the R30, the power supply is actually a separate unit. So you plug this, your musical pedals go to here, right? But then you actually plug the 24 volt in here. So the power supply goes to here, and then from the power supply, it goes to the wall. So it's actually a decision that I'm not really very happy with, but they have actually addressed it. So if you want a something like a built-in solution, you can actually go for the Zuma R300. So yeah, so that's covered. This is the cable that connects this to this. And this is uh, stickers, I suppose. 
drill template. So if you want to, if you want to drill a, uh, this is if you want to drill a mounting kit to your pedal board underneath your pedal board, use this as your mounting template. Yeah, it is to it is to scale. So you just need to drill this, and then you can mount it using these two holes right here. You will line up. Yeah, see, it is in line with these two things here. Okay, so you can drill it. So screws, they actually come with three, no, two screws. Yeah, two screws. So you can do that if you want. Personally, I would just use a zip tie because I don't feel comfortable, you know, doing this kind of thing. Okay, and some hotline stuff like that, but too bad I don't live in America, so that's not applicable for me. Uh, rubber feet, very useful if you want to put this, if, if, uh, if let's say this is going to be very con close contact with the floor, you want those rubber feet so that it will not directly touch the floor and may cause any issues. Last but not least, important, we have the accessory pack. So, what does accessory pack contain? We'll talk about that in a short while. So, for the accessory pack, right, we have five cables included. So, it's a very simple five in, five out, one in, one out each. A very simple. There's no, there's no dualers, there's no, there's no duplicates and whatever. It's just as simple as you can get. What you see plug in is what you can plug out. Okay, so let's talk about the actual power supply itself, the power supply unit. Okay, so as mentioned, this has five outputs. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so outputs number one to three, they are nine volts. 500 milliamps each okay so it's very important because 500 milliamps that's a lot of power <laughs> okay most guitar pedals regular size ones they use most digital ones they actually use less than 100 on average they use about 40 to 50 milliamps only so it's a lot that means that you can also you can also purchase separately a like a splitter or one input to two output so you can connect like two uh, pedals using this one input but be warned because if you do that you must make sure that those two pedals you're plugging in does not cross talk with each other so for example if you plug in like a overdrive pedal a distortion pedal with a delay pedal uh, there might be a small chance that your delay might leak into the distortion causing a bit of a unwanted noise and everything so just test around first just make sure it is safe okay Ports 4 and 5, same 500 milliamps, but the voltage can be adjusted to either 9, 12, or 18. Alright, so both of them will work the same. So 9, 12, or 18. Okay, this is your 24 volt in, 24 volt in, uh, 24 volt through. So in is from your power supply here, as mentioned before. Wall, wall goes to the power supply, power supply goes next to this cable. This cable goes to the in, and it goes like that. Okay, so through is something cool. So I've, I haven't done, I haven't seen anything on other companies before. But if let's say you know you built you you bought this initially for a you know relatively regular size board, right? Cause five five inputs, and then down the line you upgrade, right? You improve your skills, you become a better guitarist, you upgrade your board, you have more pedals. And oh no, you need to buy a new power supply. No, you don't need to do that. You can actually save your money. You can purchase something special called the expansion kit. So the expansion kit basically it is identical, just that they don't come with this. So what 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 is what they do is you can actually plug this 24 volt through to another second whether you want to buy the regular Ojai or the Ojai R30. You can just connect it, hook it up, and voila, you have 10 pots now instead of 5 but take note all right the ojai series they can only you can only daisy chain another ojai you cannot like ojai connect to zuma and all that no it doesn't work that way because of the capability of this power supply on the other hand if you use a zuma as your main you can actually uh, connect the this one out to another zuma expansion kit or an ojai is because the built-in power supply cap capability of the Zuma is higher. So that's why you can plug in more. So please don't test the limits. Don't go and hook, see many, how much you can hook up, all right? So I don't want to see a house burn down. No. So just make sure you're careful for that. So let's uh, take a look at the dimensions now. Okay, so the dimensions of the actual R30 itself, the length, it is 13 cm. Okay, the width, it is about 6 cm. And finally, the height, it is about 3 cm okay 
so that's for this uh, actual unit itself let's talk about the power supply the power supply length it is 10 and a half cm less the length for the width it is about five and one quarter cm the height it is about three cm okay so very important because this is actually two physical units right so that means that if you want to mount this below your pedal board you gotta factor in two physical units under so if your pedal board is let's say not long enough so you might have be able to mount this but you might not be able to mount this so you gotta factor both in and yeah just just make sure both is good lah all right if not you might want to consider getting the zuma or you just want to put this on top of the pedal board instead so you can actually save space if that's what you want if not i believe that's about it for the strymon ojai r 30 power supply like this video if you liked it subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet i'm chester that's all for today see you guys